The passive in the perfect tense. The passive in the perfect is quite simple. You have already got to know the passive in the present tense and then the preteritum. Let's take a look at the passive in the perfect. For that, all you have to do is to put the verb werden into its perfect form. And that is always done with the help of to be. A couple of examples. Das Bier wird getrunken in the present form. In Praterium that would be Das Bier wurde getrunken. And in the perfect Das Bier ist getrunken worden. And you see all we do is we use a form of ist fitting to beer as a subject and that pushes the Werden to the end and of course we need the past participle which is worden. You will find in some, or actually in any good grammar, that there is two past participles, geworden and worden. You will never use geworden. If you want to know why or when to use that, please take a look at my werden uh, video in my everyday German course. Yeah, For now it's really, you do not need geworden. And it is always good to practice every new structure also independent clauses uh, we call them pusher clauses at smarter german for example with weil weil das bier getrunken worden ist and all weil does is it pushes the east to the very end nothing else changes it stays in the order that you've seen in the last sentence nothing changes even the ist remains ist it really just goes to the end two more examples ich werde angerufen present tense, ich wurde angerufen, preteritum, and ich bin angerufen worden, perfect, weil ich angerufen worden bin, perfect in a dependent clause. Last example, ich werde gefragt, I am being asked, ich wurde gefragt, I have been asked, I was asked, ich bin gefragt worden, I have been asked, I was asked, weil ich gefragt worden bin, because I have been asked, because I was asked. You see with my translations there is no difference between preteritum or perfect in meaning. Yeah? If that is not clear, please refer to your B1 material or my everyday German course in which I make that very clear. That's it, I hope you like it and love it as much as I do. Uh, vielen Dank für deine Aufmerksamkeit und weiterhin viel Vergnügen mit deinem Deutsch. Prost!